Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen, and today we are going to solve a very interesting uh, task. So in Python, uh, find maximum achievable number. So the task uh, is as follow. Uh, we need to return x that is maximum achievable uh, number, and we are given uh, num and t, and we can apply uh, to x uh, t times, so plus or minus uh, t operation, that will be uh, adding or subtracting uh, one. And uh, we need to achieve this also by applying to the num plus or minus uh, t times uh, also operation of uh, adding or subtracting uh, number one. So we are given, for example, a test case and, uh, for example, if num is four, so maximum achievable number we need to return is six. And uh, given the t, yeah, t equals one. So why is uh, this? Because uh, if we add uh, to four, one, so only t times, and we subtract uh, one from uh, say six, uh, five will equal five. So we can see that we are asked to output x number and what will be formula for x. So it's obviously uh, num uh, plus uh, 2t because we have uh, here yeah, 1t and here we have second t and because we can apply uh, minus or plus so let's say we have uh, this uh, equation so x minus t equals num uh, plus uh, t. So it will be the maximum we uh, flip t to the other side. So we have uh, 2t. So yeah, as simple as this, but I mean, let's implement it and check if our logic is correct. So we need to double the operation since we can increase num and x at the same time. So return num plus two times t, as simple as this. So here is a given case. So num is four, t is one. So what is maximum achievable number? X is six. Let's submit it for unsynthesis cases as well and see if it's working. So yeah, it's working and we have bit 88% with runtime and 31 with respect to memory. I don't know how we can <laughs> decrease the memory because we have just a uh, line, uh, yeah, one line of code. So num uh, plus two times t, maybe if we did uh, num plus t plus t, <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, here we have it. And the idea here is to increment num by double of t and each operation decrease x by one but also uh, increase uh, num by one as well. So uh, effectively, we are doing two step in one operation, hence uh, multiplication by two. So uh, we run the code and uh, everything's worked perfect. So here you have it, a simple but tricky problem with uh, elegant solution. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And remember, uh, sometimes the key to problem solving is just thinking. Uh, about the problem. So uh, happy coding until next time. And yeah, see you next time.